He always gets me on camera putting in a pinch every single video. Fucking <laughs> hurry. <laughs> <laughs> Howdy. We're down here in the woods. Got all three of us down here, me, Dylan, Steven. Just walk down here, we're gonna try to find us some mushrooms. If you don't know nothing about mushrooms, we're about to show you some mushrooms. We've just come across our first specimen here. What we have here is a San Chantrelli mushroom. They come in many shapes and sizes and all sorts of forms. And this right here is a dandy. Perfect eating sizes. I'm gonna act like I know what I'm talking about because I don't know nothing about these little fellers but they good to eat. What you want to do here when you find one is you want to get right down next to the ground, so I've been told, and you take out a real sharp pocket knife here, and you want to get down close to the ground as you can, and slice him right off there, just like that. And then what you want to do is take it and sprinkle a little sauce back on the ground around it, shake it around a little bit, time, <laughs> blow it off, so you can get some more there next year. And right there is your first chantrelli. Dandy right there. There's a couple little guys over here. We'll save them for a couple weeks. Maybe they'll keep it growing. They grow everywhere down in here. Down in here in this secret location. On the bottom of a chanterelle, it won't have actual gills. I don't know what they really call them, but they ain't real gills. Chop that baby in half and the inside should be white. There's a chanterelle and a false chanterelle. The false chanterelle's insides are orange, just like the outside. See that pretty white? That means you can eat it. They ain't hardly as good as the morels, but they you probably are get not this one. far behind. They're kind of different, though. That's they're the... fruity tasting, I think. Might as well get them broke ones. I think it's gonna be good eating. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> in there get Those are fresh. Yeah, yeah they look in. like they just popped out. They do. That's a nice, nice double, nice double up. Double prizes. Double action. These are actually getting some weight to it. That's one, this is one too. You can see, see the edges of it. Right, yeah, I see that. There's some kind of white fungus growing on it. Yeah. Or mold or something. I wouldn't eat that. Eh, we better throw him That's away. That's a good one though. Grab him. It's the end and Dylan's gonna cook them in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> We got a sack full, guys. Look at that. Look at that golden goodness right there. Something like that, something like that, something. Got ahead of us there and got a little bite out of that one. We ain't the only critters walking around eating these things. Good morning. It's the next morning after picking those chanterelles with Hogan and Steven. So what I'm gonna do now is just clean them up a little bit and chop those dirty bottoms off of them and trash them. And I half all of them right down the middle. Then we'll show you the rest. Let's go. So the way I cook these is super simple. All you need is some salt, black pepper, and butter. I just take about a good tablespoon of this butter, 
throw it in that pan. The pan don't have to be super hot, you know, just enough to kind of brown them up a little bit. Launch them. Spread them out pretty good. Go ahead and salt them a little bit. You stash some pepper all over the tops of them. You can't really beat these things though. In my opinion, they're, they're super close to being as good as a morel. Been going for just a couple of minutes. Turn the heat down just a little. We're gonna try to actually flip them individually. Now we'll just give them a little more time. Pull them off and eat them. Here we go. Man, those are so good. They're super good with like steak. I ain't never tried deep frying them. We'll probably do another one where we uh, deep fry them whole. But they got like a, people say like an apricot taste. I don't really know what an apricot tastes like, but if that's what they taste like, they're pretty dang good. Hear that? Crunchy on the outside, chewy on the inside. We've definitely never had trouble finding these things though. Mm. Butter, couple minutes each side, salt and pepper, and I'm telling you, you will wow the crowd. Like, subscribe, all that. Thanks for watching.